people, it's Liz here. Today I will be showing you how to achieve this look. I'm loving it. I am trying to play more with color and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I will put all the links for the products in the description, all the ones that I can find, some of them I might not be able to find, but I hope I can find all of them. So yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. And I appreciate y'all so much and thank you so much for supporting me and thank you so much for watching. So let's get into it guys. Hey guys, so to start off we will take some Cetaphil moisturizer and just get some of that in our hand and spread that all over our face. Next we are going to do brows and we're going to take Anastasia Dip Brow in the color dark brown and an angled brush, doesn't matter what kind, just any kind is fine. And we're going to just do the tails of our brows. Don't do the very front because we are going to take a different color to do that, so just do the tails. It'll look fine after you're done with the other color, I promise. Next we're going to take Kat Von D's Shade Light Palette and we're going to take the color Sombre, I think that's how you say it, with a Morphe angled brush and just do the front, just kind of lightly just so it looks more blended and it's okay if it looks a little messy. We're going to take the Naked Skin Concealer and another Morphe brush and we're going to basically line our, eye, our eyebrows so they look clean and they don't look messy. They look all flickety fleek, if that's still a thing we say, you know. <laughs> and you can do all the blending in with the brush, but I use my fingers because I think it's more efficient. But if you want to do it with the brush, that's fine too. To each his own, you know. Now we're going to take the Naked Skin again and put some of the concealer on our eyes, our nose, or all of our spots. And then we're going to take a Beauty Blender and we're going to blend it in. We're going to take this Sigma palette we're going to take the colors Candid and Lyrical as a transition color with the fluffy brush that is Sigma Diffused Crease E38 and we're just going to do windshield wiper motions and put those two colors there. Now we're gonna take the 120 palette one and take that color. They don't, they're not labeled, so just take that color. And we're just gonna put it all on our eyelid except. And no matter where all of my friends go, Emily, if I'm Lorenzo, all the people in my kinfolk, at least I think so. <laughs> I forgot I did that. And then we're gonna take that all over our eye except for the middle part of our lid. We're just gonna leave that blank. You jamming, Liz, girl, you get it. <laughs> and we're just gonna build that up. We're gonna start off with lighter colors and eventually get darker so it can look blended and nice. So just do that. Okay, now we're gonna take this color and do the exact same thing we did with the last one and we're basically just building so it looks good and nice and blended and smooth and doesn't look like a black eye. So we're just going to keep on building on top of each other with darker colors. And again, take another color, and this one's more in pink, or dark pink, kind of. And we're going to take that one and do the exact same thing that we did with the last one. Windshield wiper mo motions from the back of the crease of our eye to the very front, back and forth, leaving the lid open. The 
middle of the lid open. Take another darker color, build again. Now we're going back in with our Sigma palette and we are going to take our two transition colors, Candid and Lyrical, again so we can blend this out some. So we're going to go above the crease and just blend it out with those two colors on the same brush because that's how I roll. Who needs clean brushes anyway? take our Sigma palette again and go in with, I can't read the color because it is so dark on the back of the box, but we're going to take that color and we're going to put that one again all over our eye, but kind of more focus on the crease and the outer eyelid. And we're going to take this Morphe brush, blending brush, and just kind of blend that in so it looks nice and blended. Then we're going to go in with this really dark purple that has some shimmer to it. And we're going to focus this one mainly on our crease and outer edge of our eye to give us a little more dimension. Just pack that in there real good. Okay, now we're gonna take this kind of lighter purple pinky color and that's gonna go on the center of our lid and I'm just putting it on with any flat brush and it doesn't really matter how much you put on it because it's just a base for our glitter. So now we're going to take our purple glitter. I don't remember the company I got this from, but I can find it and let y'all know. Uh, my only problem with it was that when I uh, received it, it was all cracked, but it did ship from the UK, so that was probably why it got cracked in shipment, but it's very nice. I like it a lot, and I will link that for y'all in the description more so we're just gonna take a flat brush and put that on there and pack that on there in the middle there that gives us our little glitter We're gonna take this these eyelashes which are from Walmart in a five pack um 105 I think is what that one said yeah it's S or no that's not an S that's just a heart I think and <laughs> it's 105 and we're gonna take the kiss strip less adhesive with aloe and we're gonna put that on there and let it dry some get it tacky and stick those on there Pretty, pretty deceiving right now. Those took me a long time to get on. I had a lot of problems with them, but you know, it's what I didn't want this video to be forever. So I'm gonna put the other one on. Now we're going with our Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow from, I don't remember where it's from, I'll have to go find it, I know it's from Sephora, but we're going to put that all over our face on our Beauty Blender and just put it in dots all over our face and then we're going to blend it in with the Beauty Blender in circular motions. Oh, my earring fell out of my ear and the back was stuck on the back of my ear, that was the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> just keep blending it in. We're gonna put some on our neck so we don't have lines. We're gonna take the Naked 
skin concealer again and put those in the same spots and then we're gonna take our cap um, this angled flat top brush from Morphe and we're gonna take the colors sombre and shadow play mix them together for our contour and then we're gonna take the same brush we use for our eyebrow in the front the angled brush from Morphe and put it on our nose And then we're gonna take the Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush to blend it all in. I'm feeling myself here, can't you tell? <laughs> Dance break. Now we're gonna take our Laura Mercier powder and we are going to bake. And we are taking... <coughs> I had way too much powder, it was all over my makeup in front of me. Now we're gonna curl our eyelashes just so we get them to stick together. And we're just gonna put a little bit of mascara on top of them, just a little bit. And we're gonna go back in with the palette and we're gonna go back in with that dark color we put in last on our crease. We're gonna put it underneath our eyes. On our waterline. Oh, how cute. And we are gonna take the waterline liner E17 brush from Sigma to put it under our eyes. And then we're gonna go in with the Sigma domed utility E34 brush to blend it out. Then we're gonna go with this Makeup Forever eyeliner just for our waterline. There was like nothing left. So I put a little bit in there. Then we're gonna go with this mascara. It's been used so much, I don't know what it is anymore. It's label is gone, that was my cat. So we're just gonna put that on our bottom lashes to even the look out. And we're gonna take that brush again, the Morphe brush to get all the powder off. Now we're gonna go with our Ben Nye Luminous Lux powder. And we are just gonna put that on our cheekbones and our nose and our cupid's bow and the bridge of our nose and on our eyebrow bone. And we're gonna put that in the corner of our eyes also. dance a little bit more because you know dancing is good for the soul now we're gonna take this mauve pink lipstick that is from a place that is no longer in business so any mauve pink lipstick will do we're just gonna put that on and then we're gonna take some of our highlighter and we're gonna put that on our bottom lip with our finger and just kind of rub it in and then kind of pat our lips together and rub it in some more so it looks to your liking we're gonna put some setting spray, Urban Decay setting spray, and we're gonna just spray our faces and then dry it a little bit and then spray it some more and that'll make sure it stays all night long. And uh, I just wanted to say I really appreciate everyone who watches this and I think you're all great people and I hope y'all have a lovely day. Oh, say hi to Sunshine. Hey Sunshine. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please check out my channel every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday for new videos. And if you want to follow me on any other social media, all my links are in the description. Well, I hope you guys have a lovely day. Doo -doo -doo.